Hi, this is Jen from Ugly Art Room, and we are in Corvallis, Oregon, in our new gallery space, which is super duper exciting. And we are here with Ugly Art Room's newest member, Chelsea Foss Van Denen. Hi! <laughs> and she's a curator and an amazing artist, so you should check out her work. And you might notice behind us, Santa has joined us, and also a very strange Christmas tree. They were here to look at white rhino mail art challenge artwork that was mailed to us for December. And if you want to read about the statement for that show, you can look on Ugly Art Room's website. So here goes. <laughs> Chelsea, you could be like Vanna White. Oh. <laughs> so this time we have a spatula to open all the artwork. Whoa. Wow. Take a look at that. We see a white rhino there, and there's also a little man with like bandit mask on. I like that she used kind of materials that I would think of using as a kid. The scratch board with the glitter underneath. We're gonna open the next piece. So this is what the envelope looks like. <laughs> I wish I could just <laughs> dig in. <laughs> also some text on the back. There's so many small things that the artist cut out to create it. It's really carefully made and so detailed. There's a heart and then we have a rhinoceros in the heart and then there's also hands on a clock. Maybe it's yeah. like a little window into time. Next piece which comes to us from Molly Geisman and on the back yeah, there's some Sharpie that says, <laughs> careful! Carefully taped. Hey, okay, you did it! <laughs> Alright. But I'll give you a close-up look over here. It says, hoarded spaces. Hoarded spaces is a metaphor for how I visualize closed-minded thought process. I see it as crowding one's thinking with old, Frozen ideas, like my dad's basement, dark and cluttered with useless junk. Hidden compartments that go on forever in every direction, holding on to ancient ideologies with no basis in fact. The paper itself has a really nice feel to it. And there's hand stitching also. Mm -hmm. And there's like a little window um, that's pulled up so you can see another layer in the piece. Yeah, it's very layered. Even though it's relatively flat, it's layered and kind of murky. Mm -hmm. Like you're looking into something that you can't quite define. Mm -hmm. And there's like a bunch of boxes piled up. And it almost seems like maybe this line here is like the line going down to her dad's basement. Oh. With all the storage underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Our next piece, which is from John Kessling. And John Kessling is an artist who has shown for Ugly Art Room many, many times. He's from Brooklyn. And he sent us some fun stickers <laughs> on the package. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. take a look at this piece. So we have a woman who is, looks like she's wearing some kind of like diving mask or a, or the way her hair is sort of framing her head. It almost appears that she's being like contained. She's kind of l looking off and up somewhere. Are those her boobies? That's what I've been I wondering. I think those are her boobies. <laughs> Booby neck. Get a closer look at her booby neck. <laughs> Of course, John Kessling would make a booby nag. We are going to open our next piece, which is from R. Hines from Portland. Oh, Rachel Hines. 
Very. All right. All right. Do it. Just throw it. Ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm getting closer. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Whoa. Give you a look see here. And it says Rachel Hines eating it 2014 <gasps> acrylic on canvas. And then there is a note that says me as Molly Shiler who ate an entire four and a half pound steak in three minutes and 14 seconds. Wow. Wow. There's something kind of slightly disturbing to me about it. I love eating meat, but there's something really And I think that this probably in a lot of ways can relate to the idea of how people really take on more than they can chew of the world, <laughs> right? Oh, no. And use up all our resources and consume. You know, consume so much. So that's a really, really beautiful piece. The next piece, which is also in a big package from Margaret Baggett, and she's from Chicago, Illinois. So if anyone out there has a really cool letter of like a, yeah, like a vintage one, or if you mm. have a handmade one that you want to send us. Or you want to make? Yeah, make, make us, for us one. We would really appreciate it. Oh, wow. So some very handmade work. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, it's so. really it's nicely made. The back's even yeah, really I wish we considered. Could, I wish you could feel it. Yeah. I like the use of various... Uh, weights of thread the fingers are actually chopped off oh are they chopped i think so oh no maybe they're bent. i can't tell if they're chopped or bent i can't either but this looks like the palm yeah so i would think yes, i don't know how maybe they're bent chopped or bent what do you think so this one is from andre pace who sent us work for the last show as well Dryer um, oh. sheet. It's very fresh. And these look like some ladies. They kind of do look like some ladies. ladies up in here. I can see sort of the abstracted rhino with the horn. And mm hmm. Oh, right. Yeah. So maybe it isn't lady parts, it's head on rhino. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Full frontal rhino. Full frontal rhino. <laughs> they Thank stumped you. me. <laughs> They must be boobies, they're not rhinos. No. On to our last piece. I love when there is also decoration on the envelope. And the back says, please do not use butter knife. <laughs> well, we don't have a butter knife, we have a spatula. Oh, there's cool, cool little stickers. stickers. Maybe we can. We're gonna salvage, salvage the stickers. Salvage those awesome little sticker guys. Oh, wow. We just so show you the detail. Does that? <gasps> Here's the hang hole. Oh goodness sakes! Oh wow! <laughs> oh my! Oh it. my gosh! <laughs> it keeps going! Wow! wow. Oh, and this is the hang hole here. Oh wow! Wow! It's wonderful. And the envelope it came in is. Is even part of all of that. Thank you for everyone who participated today. Thank you. We had some great artwork and we're looking forward to more artwork. And thank you, Chelsea. Thank you. And thank you, Santa. And uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs>